Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy and today I'll be bringing you my review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Starscream and here he is in his jet mode and this vehicle mode is based on is well overall this mold is a brand new mold which you know since this is Beast Hunters a lot of them were sort of you know uh, what is it heavy retools of uh, previous figures no Starscream here gets a brand new mold and this jet mode is a incredibly heavily modified uh, F-16 Fighting Falcon jet. And it's pretty cool. It's kind of looks like the real world thing. Like I said, kind of. Thanks to all of the beast hunting uh, upgrades that it has. It just vaguely resembles it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool little uh, jet mode. I personally don't like Starscream too much, but... He does get some pretty good mold, uh, molds every now and then. So this is a pretty cool jet mode. Um, he does have some landing gear, which can just store away or pop back down. And even has molded landing gear right there at these bits right there. So that's pretty neat. Um, he comes with a couple of accessories. Well, first off, these missiles here can actually be removed. You just pop them off. And there you go. These counter kind of accessories. So you have these uh, removable missiles, which I'll just leave right there. And he comes with his other thing, which is sort of his main weapon. This massive thing is called the uh, Thunder Talon. It's pretty cool. And it's got one little feature. You see, uh, these gray bits, they all move in tangent with each other. When you pull this back, it causes the claws to close. So, there you go. Nothing too special, but it's something. I also like that they painted the uh, buzzsaw that's in there. Yeah, there's a molded buzzsaw in there. So, you just imagine Starscream grabbing somebody. Grabbing somebody and then just buzz sawing them in the face. Pretty cool. Uh, also, there's these notches here, all these pegs and notches that you can actually put on these missiles. So you can put it in like this. Like that. Or flip them over and put them in like that. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Took me, a while, took me a while to find out what that was for, because I was always wondering what these were for. Didn't occur to me that it was for the missiles. And that's all they are, specifically for the missiles. And outside of the missiles, you can just peg them in like this. The Thunder Talon can also be placed in the uh, vehicle mode by having this side up, pegging it there. Pegging it there on those pieces, and it should... You gotta finagle a little bit. There we go. It'll peg in, and then you have the Thunder Talent right down there. And I'm not gonna lie. It actually, I think it, it makes the jet mode look a lot, a little bit better with the extra, with the Thunder Talent equipped on the bottom. Pretty cool. And like I said, you move this, causes it to close. So, that's enough about the vehicle mode. I said, pretty nice, pretty solid vehicle mode. Not too bad. Um, like most jets, you can't see his hands and stuff underneath. And these are clearly the legs and the arms underneath the jet, but most jet formers are like that. So I'll put the accessories off to the side. Let's get on with transformation. And transforming is actually pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated. Just come down here. Unpeg there. And put it off to the side. Unpeg there. Put it off to the side. Oh, now at the same time you bring this piece up. And what was what was the let me raise it up. What was the next part? You have to come up here. You have to lift this up. Rotate this down. Oh, there you, go. you basically just bring this up, put it in there. You can adjust the uh, the legs. These will be his legs. Face forward. Bring these spikes down. Then separate these these pieces to form the foot and heel. So there's his legs. So then we have this. Then this part, if I remember correctly, lifts up. Lift this up. Bring it down. And then you get his uh, head. The head reveal. Then, next part, you take the arms, unpeg them from there. There's like these little pegs, yeah, there's whoop, these little ports right here for these pegs to separate them. And then you, oh, there we go. Lift this piece up for clearance and bring, fold these forward. Now I'm remembering now, fold these forward and bring this down. You have to, well, you can mold these for clearance and stuff. It's kind of weird, but try to follow me. There we go. Like that. 
bring this down and it should peg into place where the arms would peg and so just push it in there peg it into place and this just push it back and then the wings you can do whatever you want with them I like to leave them there angled and this piece also you can have it fold like that or just be like that I gotta have it like uh, like this all standing up I said I kind of I would have liked if they had done this a little bit better like fold the wings out or something like fold them up down but that's pretty much all you can do and that's it that's a transformation uh, I guess to finish it off you can uh, well, you can lift this up, can't you? Well, you can do that, but that's kind of that looks kind of weak. Oh, oh yeah, you lift it up. So you can bring this up and lift it around to give them some shoulders, some shoulder pads and knees. If you want, you can have them pop out of it. I like I like folding them in. I think they look better that way. And there is Starscream in his robot mode. And thanks to his big heels, he can he stands okay. He stands pretty well. Check out his head sculpt. It's pretty cool. It's Starscream. It's Starscream from the show. And not 100% accurate since Starscream is, a, is even funny enough. As skinny as this looks, he's actually supposed to be a lot skinnier. And have a much bigger chest area because he's, he's a bit uh, hunched over in his robot mode. This one is more... How should I put it? More... Uh, be better distributed. In terms of uh, pro hey, there we go. it's more proportioned with itself. While Starship is supposed to be a lot, a lot thinner and more a skeletal. Not a fan of this huge backpack, but it's something. As it, not bad, not bad. Uh, for articulation, he's got ball joints here, ball joints at the head, ball joints. He has a uh, ball joints here. His hands can swivel. Uh, legs are on a ball joint, are on ball joints at the thigh. He can do a really nice kick. Uh, has a very good knee. He can bend his knee that far. And can rotate here right above the knee. Can rotate. So, yeah, he's got pretty good articulation. You can get him in some nice poses. And then with his weapons, you can actually put his missiles on his forearms, which is really neat. To not only cover the uh, hole there. But also give him a more Starscream-like look, because in the show, in Prime, Starscream has missiles on top of his forearms instead of his classic uh, Generation 1 Null Rays. So he has them so you can, you know, he can fire them. No problem. You can also put him back on his wings or on his uh, weapon. And speaking of his weapon, how he's supposed to hold it, you can peg it here on his arm. And check this out, the weapon is almost as big as he is. I feel that this weapon doesn't fit Starscream, like you, you can't have him holding in his arm like this. And it works. He could. And you hold... If you want, you can have him hold it like this, kind of like some sort of melee weapon, but it doesn't work. Or you can hold it like, uh, like this. Kind of like as a weird gun. It's just that this weapon, I'm sorry, I, I, I like the Thunderfang. But uh, what is it? The Thunder Talon, my bad, not the Thunder Fang. The Thunder Talon, I like the weapon. I even like the gimmick. It's not bad. However, it doesn't work with Starscream. It doesn't fit. So the best way to do this is just to have him hold the weapon like this. Then have either the second missile be... Actually, you can, if you really wanted to, you can have the two missiles stacked on top of each other. Or put them on there. So it's something. So yeah, I think it works best if you put him on his forearm like that. To have it be a uh, claw weapon. So yeah, my only my only discrepancy is that he's a bit too thin for my liking, but it's a pretty solid figure. Pretty solid figure, but I think the weapon is way too big for him. I like the detachable missiles, but the thunder the thunder talon is way too big for this character. It just doesn't fit. It doesn't suit the character, and the figure can't really hold it. It's almost, I think, this weapon would work better maybe for, like, um, another character, say, who's a big bulky character, um, that's the thing, the Predacons, there weren't too many big bulky ones, I guess, Breakdown, or even Bulkhead or something, like, this weapon just doesn't suit him much, it's way too big for Starscream, and that's, I guess, my, my biggest complaint is that his weapon is too, is not suited for Starscream, it felt like it should have been for somebody else, but that aside, it's, overall, the figure itself is pretty good. You got nice articulation. Uh, pretty. It's a pretty cool uh, vehicle mode for what it is. You know, from uh, when you when you came into account the beast hunting theme, it's not bad. I would have liked if the backpack here, if these wings would have folded down 
somewhere else and this thing could also have folded down somewhere else outside of that because that doesn't look right so i just have it uh pointing up why not some sign of a some kind of an antenna and that's about it good articulation the robot mode is really solid i think it's a little bit better than the original mold not the original the prime uh, rid starscream robots in the type starscream well whatever this is a and as a brand new mold for beast hunters it's not bad uh, I guess some other facts is that this figure, well, this figure doesn't have any repaints. Yeah, this mold is, as far as I know, exclusive to this version of Starscream. To the uh, Beast Hunters Starscream. And that's fine. That's that's fine. It ain't great, but it's but it's not bad either. It's a pretty it's a pretty good figure. And I do and I recommend them if you're trying to get the uh if you like a Starscream. It's a pretty good Starscream. Not so accurate, but what is in Beast Hunt in the Beast Hunters toy line? Without like what is it three or four of them that are actually um uh, show accurate so yeah that's pretty much it nothing else to say it's a pretty good figure it's got articulation not big fan of the accessories at least i like it but not for him and that's about it so yeah this has been my review am i sure yeah that's that's it it's an okay figure it, it's good it's good i may not like starscream however this pop this is probably my Excuse me. I would say that the uh, Prime Starscream is like my second favorite version of Starscream, because in general, generally speaking, I'm not. I never really liked Starscream. So, so yeah, this has been my review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Starscream. This is Composite Energo signing off. Peace out.